So in this video, we're going to be talking about the light year. Now, where we'll start is with the definition for a light year, and that is that a light year is the distance traveled by light in one year. So it's a distance that's measured in meters, not a time, even though it has that word year in it. It is, as we said, a distance. Now, this is something you will need to remember. You will need to know that definition. Remember, this is within the space topic, and I've actually made a video of definitions, and it's part of a series of six videos, definitions for the National Five Physics course. How we actually work out the number of meters in a light year is by using an equation. And this is the equation here, that distance, and that's measured in meters, is equal to speed v, that's in meters per second, multiplied by time t, and that's of course in seconds. So we need to find the speed, and that's of course the speed of light, since we're talking about a light year, but we also need to find the number of seconds within one year. So let's get started. So to find that distance, we start off substituting for the speed of light, and that's three times 10 to the power of eight, and that's meters per second. You'll find that in the data sheet at the front of the exam. Next, we need to find how many seconds in a year. So we start off with this number here, 365. That's the number of days in one year. Now, of course, you could write this as 365.25, the 0.25 or a quarter comes from the fact that every four years we get an extra day in February. That's a leap year, of course. You'll find though when you actually round the final value for this, that end up basically with the same number. So you don't need to include that 0.25. So 365 days in a year, and then we multiply by 24 because we have 24 hours in a day. Then we multiply by 60 because we have 60 minutes in an hour. And finally, we have 60 seconds in a minute, so we multiply by 60 again. So let's work that out. Three times 10 to the power of eight, multiplied by 365 times 24 times 60 times 60 gives us this. So 9.4608 times 10 to the power of 15, and that is of course in meters. Now I am going to round this because the value which is in the data sheet, as I said, the speed of light, is written to two significant figures, so that's 3.0 times 10 to the power of eight meters per second. I'm going to round this value to two significant figures as well. Now we will get onto an example. In fact, there are two examples coming up, but the important thing to remember with light years is that you really need to remember this method. So remember we start with an equation, distance is speed times time. Remember the speed is of course the speed of light and the time is the number of seconds in one year. It's the method you really need to concentrate on and not just memorizing this number. The reason is that lots of the questions we have in light years are actually show questions. So you won't get the full marks unless of course you write the equation, unless you show all steps in your substitution before then arriving at a final answer. Let's have a look at the first example then. So example number one says, the distance to the star Wolf 424 is 14.2 light years. Calculate this distance in meters. Now, it is a calculate question, but we'll imagine it's a show question. Having said that, calculate questions, we should really be following the same stages. In other words, we should be writing an equation anyway. And as I said, it's this equation here, D is V times T, and then we would obviously substitute for the value of speed, that's 3.0 times 10 to the power of eight, multiplied by well, it's 14.2 years. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to work out one light year and then I'll multiply that by 14.2. So how do we do it again? We started with the number of days in a year, 365. Then the number, of course, of hours in one day, then multiplied by the number of minutes in an hour, which is 60, then multiplied by the number of seconds in a minute. So you know what I could do? I could place all of that in brackets and that would be one light year. And then I'll multiply by 14.2. And that of course will give us our answer. So put it in the pen and we'll use that calculator. So in brackets, three times 10 to the power of eight times 365 times 24 times 60 times 60 close brackets. So within the brackets, as I said, we're calculating one light year and 14.2 light years. So we'll multiply by 14.2 and that gives us this. So 1.3434336 times 10 to the power of 17 meters. 
Again, as we said, one of those values, this one here, is written in the data sheets to two significant figures. So we're going to write our final value to two significant figures, making that 1.3 times 10 to the power of 17 meters. That was example number one. Now let's have a look at example number two. So example number two says the distance to the star Sigma Draconis is 1.78 times 10 to the power of 17 meters. Calculate this distance in light years. Aha, uh -huh. right, I'll clear that calculator first. If I was doing this in an exam, the first thing I would actually do is I would work out the distance of one light year. So let's see where we're going to write that. We'll work out distance is equal to speed times time, 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8, times 365, times 24, times 60, times 60. So the speed of light times the number of days in a year, number of hours in a day, number of minutes in an hour, number of seconds in a minute. And as I said, this is the most important part, which is to remember how to actually calculate a light year. You probably already remember what that number is. So times 365 times 24 times 60 times 60. And that gives us this. Now, I'm going to work this out slightly differently in that I'm being asked to calculate this distance in light years. And I'm not being asked to calculate what one light year is or what in the last question, 14.2 light years is. So in fact, I'm not actually going to round this value because it's not the final answer that I'm being asked to work out. So I'll say that that is 9.4608 times 10 to the power of 15 meters. Now, in order to work out how many light years I actually have, what I need to do is to divide that distance, which is in the question, 1.78 times 10 to the power of 17 by this number here. Now, that maybe isn't initially apparent, but if you imagine that, let's say, the distance to this star is 10 metres. OK, so the distance to the star is 10 metres, and let's say that one light year is 2 metres. Without really thinking about it, I'm sure you'd work out that you would divide this distance 10 metres to the star by 2, and that would mean that you had 5 light years. So sometimes just thinking about simpler numbers allows you to sort of, I guess, unravel the method that we need to use. So as I said, I'm going to work out that large number, 1.78 times 10 to the power of 17, and then I'm going to divide it by this. So let's see, I'll write number of light years is equal to, so it's 1.78 times 10 to the power of 17, divided by this number here, 9.4608 times 10 to the power of 15, and that will give me the following number. So let's see, 1.78 times 10 to the power of 17, divided by 9.4608. Remember we said that we weren't rounding that number because it's not our final answer for this question. And that gives us this. Now, let's just remember that, of course, the numbers we're using to answer this question the 1.78 times 10 to the power of 17, we've got three significant figures, but within the data sheets, and of course to work at this question, we had to use this value here, which is written to two significant figures. So we could write this answer as 18.8 .8 light years, but I'm going to round it to 19 light years. Now, that would be perfect. As I said, 19, you would get the marks. If you write 18.8, .8, you'd also get the marks. If you're unsure about how many significant figures to write in your final answer, I have made a video about that. So obviously go on YouTube, I type in Mr. Smith's Physics Online rounding, something along those lines. If, you, of course, you also want to find any specific video on any question, the easiest thing to do is to look in the website, physics sorry, physics-podcast, can hardly remember my own website, physics-podcast.co.uk. Then, of course, click on the level, and that's National 5 for if you're watching this video, and makes it an awful lot easier to find the video you're after. Right, last but not least, I'm going to give you a little bit of homework, and that is to attempt some of these questions, which are from past papers, in fact, on light years, knowing what you now know. 
So first of all, I would ask you to look at the 2019 paper, and that's paper two, the written paper, question 4b. Then from the 2021 paper, that's paper one, the multiple choice section, question number eight. And finally, from the 2022 paper, paper number two, that's question 5a part one. But for now, that's us.